All right, it is 10, 14 a.m. and I haven't traded anything. There haven't been any really good setups, but there have been a couple that were interesting. I just haven't traded anything, nothing really too ideal, but INND, I did have an alert go off once it started to get to the 124 level. This thing did break past this 12 level and this offered a nice spike. It might have been kind of hard to be a part of this, but if this thing can manage to maybe trade back and forth and go back to the 12 level, and then be able to hold it that would be pretty nice that could be like something where it has a breakout past this 12 level has a spike and then it kind of comes back to it it holds support and then that could be something that can be long that would be a cool dip buy setup cydy this one actually did work out i was watching this one for a breakout past the 90 cent level and this one did play out it did get from the 90s to the 92s it could still do something else who knows but I didn't trade this one because I decided to pick SIRC instead of CYDY and this one was having like a bit of a panic. It's a very nice run up when you take into consideration um, you know where it's been but the issue with SIRC and although it looks like you know this thing really played out this thing um, just started to turn around with a widespread so I never wanted to take it for that reason. SIRC was the kind of thing where maybe I could have been in but I would have had to have bought at this 3279 level. Right? 3279, that's a $262 position. And then best case scenario, I sell at 33. Not 34, 33. I would have made two bucks. That's not really, you know, something worth trading. The range isn't really there for it. It just wasn't really that nice you know by the time it broke past the trend line it started trading with this widespread so even though oh, okay you see the pattern play out and everything you would have been in right here you would have sold at 33 ideally and you would have made two bucks and that's a 200 dollar position so there wasn't anything really that nice and now it looks like it's trying to do some kind of a rug pull i don't know i'll keep watching this one and hkd i'm just watching this one i don't necessarily want to trade it i have a fight all a risk level with listed stocks so for me to be able to trade this thing is impossible just look at the spread i do like watching it though so yeah that's pretty much about it there isn't anything that's really ideal um i did have this with emge and this was like a symmetrical triangle i broke the bottom part had a panic but very similar the sirc it just had a really um ugly turnaround although this one wasn't as bad as SIRC it just was a bit too fast it wasn't ideal the way it traded but that's pretty much about it I don't see any setups that I want to trade right now and I will make an update later it is 10 58 a.m and the setup that I am looking at was INND I did have an attempted buy that was at 1025 I was interested in buying 20,000 shares at uh, one two three and I actually canceled it very quickly because, first of all, I had a big jump to the 124s and I didn't get filled. And then, number two, there was, like, so many people in the 124s with a lot of, um, you know, sellers at the ask above it. So, I didn't think it was going to actually work. So, I canceled it for that reason and I wasn't filled in the first place. But it did get as high as 126, but it did sell off and now it has been kind of trading back and forth between this uh, 12 level maybe maybe it can make a move towards the upside and break 125 the only problem is is that there's like 2 million sh um, shares of sellers right here there's a lot of people at the ask a lot of size at the ask too and then there might be hidden sellers as well so it's not looking good in that sense but you know it might do some curving action and eventually get the 125 and then you know, once we get to that 11 to 12 p.m. time period where a lot of intraday breakouts happen, maybe it can try to break 129. It can try to get to the 13s, and then we have a top right here, which is 133. And then, you know, if it breaks that, this thing could be something that could run for a longer period of time. And the daily chart isn't horrible. It, it could be a lot better, but it's still better than SIRC, if you ask me, because there's a lot more volume here. It makes it less likely that is going to uptrend compared to INND. So that's pretty much the case right now. There isn't anything else that I want to trade. CYDY is just chilling. Maybe it can make like a very long-term bull flag or something like that. And EMGE just doesn't have the 
volume or the price action for me to really consider it. And SIRC had another dip here, but this one, you know, is not as good as the original dip that it had, which wasn't good to begin with. So this might be a day where I don't trade anything, but if there is a chance that I trade something, I'll definitely make an update. Okay, it is 9.22 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. I didn't make or lose anything. This was uh, just a zero day. I didn't trade anything. And there were a few setups and I hope that in the future what I was able to go through today could help me have maybe some more setups that I can trade and be profitable with. I want to know something, SIRC. Look how it had two dips under VWAP and then it had an uptrend after it had a morning spike or at least a weird one right here. I actually was interested in this setup because it looks like an ascending triangle i didn't think it was going to do it but it did and it had a lot of volume which is why i made that move there cydy also had two dips i've said it didn't dip under vwap this one um dipped towards vwap and then that made a move later on in the day and this one was pretty nice with cydy because it broke past that 90 cent level and then it kind of came back to the level also playing around vwap and then it came back again I hope I can be able to maybe be in the moment and trade some of these setups. I'm also kind of low on sleep. And I've noticed that when I don't have that much sleep, I tend to miss out on setups or I just wait for it. They have so many confirmations that the setup is there that I'm not going to be in it because then I'll be chasing it. So I'm going to probably try to sleep earlier today and make that up. That was about it. There were a few setups and the thing with SIRC as well. Um, this is something that is shortable on Schwab, so I will be interested in maybe a potential short setup. The only problem is that if I'm able to short it on Schwab, who knows how available this stock is for shorting and, you know, how much easier it could be to end up squeezing and moving much higher. So that's something I'm also taking into consideration. And INND did that breakout past the 12 level. This one wasn't as clean as the other ones, but it, this one even dipped towards VWAP, which was also very close to the breakout level. So... That's pretty much it for right now. Um, that's a lot of good lessons. Maybe I can be able to get some trades in the future, but uh, there was nothing that was super ideal for me to consider trading.